Let's see how adding fractions with unlike denominators can help us eat giant cookies. These cookies were so big that we couldn't eat them all. Marcos has one ninth of a cookie left, and I have two thirds of a cookie left. To find the total, we could add one ninth plus two thirds. But the denominators aren't the same, so I'm not sure how to add them. One way to add these fractions is to make both of them have the same denominator. We can find equivalent fractions and see if we can get the same denominators. Exactly. Since 2 thirds has a smaller denominator, why don't you start by finding equivalent fractions for it? OK. Well, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, it becomes 4 sixths. And if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 3, we get 6 ninths. That's it. Since 6 ninths is equivalent to 2 thirds, we can use 6 ninths in the problem. That makes both fractions have like denominators. Nice job. In math, when two fractions have the same denominator, we call that common denominators. It makes adding them together simple. I remember that when we add fractions with common denominators, we add the numerators but keep the denominator the same. That's because the number of parts in one whole does not change. So let's add the numerators. 1 plus 6 equals 7. The denominator will stay the same, so we have 7 ninths of a cookie left. <laughs> That's right. 1 ninth plus 6 ninths equals 7 ninths. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all math topics, grades K through 8, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.